Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. Then I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for having taught me this truth and who also rule well. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elects spread around the four corners of the earth doing the walk in the vine in these last days and those who are sincerely seeking the truth. Shalom. How this lesson is going to be based on this piece of cartoon that I actually got from a brother's page called, let's see, name of his page is called Faithful and True. So this video was actually sent to me by another ARC here in Italy, part of the GMS Italia camp, which is the speckled bed brother. Okay, that I just posted his video, I think yesterday, okay. So he just sent the video to me and he told me I should try to do a lesson on it. So it's a honor. And well, before showing the the cartoon, I would just like to read quickly from the book of I'd like to read from the book of Second Corinthians in which everyone knows. Second Corinthians, okay, it's chapter 2, I'll go straight to 11, it's a classic, which quotes, Lest Satan should get advantage of you, for we are not ignorant of his devices, okay, so let's go to the root word of these devices, it says, Noema, Noama, okay, which is an evil purpose, you know, that's with things, the mind, thoughts, or purposes, a mental perception, thought, okay. So, as we can see here, you know, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, that's if we're in the truth. If we have the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai walking in us, then we can't fall for any of his, of his tricks. So as we know, um, we know we'd be brothers of the Great Millstone. You know, we know that the mark of the beast is the microchip, which is coming after the the jabs of this um Crown Royale. So if you take this job, it's going to sedate your God gene, which is the VM82 gene. And it's going to make you take the, the mark of the beast, which is the microchip. The apostles and elders have been teaching this for many years. Okay. So, you know, these devils, you know, they actually put their, their agenda, they put them in different in movies, they put them in cartoons, most especially in cartoons, you know, I've seen different cartoons, you know, which, you know, they, they, they call it predictive programming, okay, so they actually show you what they're about to do, then they just go ahead and do it, you know, prepare your mind in saying it first, so let's quickly grab another scripture, which is um, the book of Ephesians, where are you? Book of Ephesians, chapter 6, and verse 11, which quotes, Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Okay, as we all know, the devil is talking about, you know, the sons of Esau. You know, those in power now, the banking and the financial families. You know, we have, um, now let's check the root word for wells. Strongs. It gives you methodea. Methodea, which, you know, which I think leads to the root word of method. Okay. So if you see, you can see from a compound word, uh, cunning arts, 
deceit, craft, trickery. Okay, so this is actually what the sons of Esau they do, you know, cunning arts, deceit, craft, and trickery. Okay, so let's let's be mindful of this, you know. Put on the world armor of Yahweh. What is the armor of Yahweh? Is truth, you know. This is the truth, knowing the right names of the Father, which is Yahweh, and the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, you know. And observing the commandments to the best of your ability, you know. This is the armor. This is what we need to put on right now, you know, and have the right state of mind, you know, which you know nothing lost in this kingdom, you know. We have to be ready at any time to, you know, to get out of this kingdom and not even get ourselves attached to this kingdom because this kingdom is is right at its end and it's degraded, you know. For he who has the love of this world has no love of the Father, you know. So now let's go back to the, remember here, in the word wows, we saw... Cunning art, you see, trickery, craft, deceit. Now, let's go and watch this piece of cartoon, then we'll get back. Roll out of Rook Unlimited's most fantastic device ever. The Smart Mark. Throw your other devices away because the Smart Mark is more than just a phone, it's part of you. Use it as cash. Book your travel and even shoot video. Distribution points are all over the city. And don't let the lines discourage you. The Rook Unlimited Smart Mark is worth the wait. I never realized how wonderful technology could make me feel. The Smart Mark has brought order to my life. And the best part? It's absolutely free. A gift of thanks to our city from Rook Unlimited. 23% of the population has been given the smart mark, number one. Time to test our system, number six. The flex fighters are out there somewhere. Teaming up with Jonathan Rook, let's put our new recruits to work, subtly. We should find the flex fighters. We ought to find the flex fighters. We should find the flex fighters. We should find the flex fighters. Growing up in this city, the streets of Old Town, I saw the worst mankind had to offer. Chaos, disorder. I vowed to make it all change. To make it all better. All these years working in secret, rising up the ranks of the tech men, it was all leading to this day. Order has finally been established in Charter City. No child will have to fear for their safety again. The people owe you the greatest of debts, number one, for liberating them from the chaos of their lives. <laughs> you guys love new tech. You didn't want to get smart marked? <laughs> no way. That's clearly some shady biz. Who wants to be... You call yourself a man of science. World order is our destiny. Submit to a smart mark and join the glorious victory of order over chaos. Or you will be eliminated. Grandpa, Mr. Savick, uh, uh, where is everybody? Ah, they all went to get those foolish new devices. What? Uh, no, they can't. Grandpa, those things are dangerous. It's a conspiracy. Mind control. Ha! Ah, I knew it! Ah. Three hours is enough time for us to get to our families. Maybe we can stop them before they get marked. They seem to be establishing checkpoints of some kind. This is how they keep order. This is the nightmare I warned you about. People think smart marks are brand new rook tech that will improve their lives. They don't know they're being tricked. All smart marks so far. But your chip makes it possible to control everyone in Charter City, whether they're marked or not.
okay so there we go as you can see we just saw that little piece of cartoon which actually shows us exactly what Esau is really up to you know so Esau is up to you know what he does is actually he actually puts his plan into these cartoons you know so it's called predictive programming so as you can see everyone will be forced to take the mark of the beast either on their right hand or their forehead you know so they'll take the mark of the beast and without the mark of the beast they can't do anything neither sell or buy you know in which we are almost at those times now you know because here in italy they just don't they're just going by gradualism the people are already really well brainwashed you know in accepting all the trickery of Esau okay in vaccinating everyone you know if you go out people are going to tell you oh, you put on your mask and this that you know so the people are really well brainwashed, you know, and ripe for destruction. So let's just get quickly two more scriptures and then close up. We'll go to the book of Psalm, chapter 10. Chapter 10. And we'll read from verse 8, which quotes, Is seated in the locking places of the villages, in the secret places that he murdered the innocent, his eyes are privately set against the poor. He lieth and waits secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth and waits to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. So as we can see, let's check the root word for this net. Resheth. Okay. Net walk of leaders leading people to sin as a trap for man. Network, you can see. So, you see, this is just all oh, the scriptures are so powerful. Kalala, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Kakodash. Or praises to the Most High for you know, giving all this truth. We just need to look deeper into things, you know, check the roots the root word for Bible scriptures, you know, then we'll get a whole different different picture, you know. So this is exactly what the scriptures is talking about. The evil ones, the sons of the wicked, which are the ruling class, those, you know, the banking family, the financial family, which they have their religious headquarters where they have their priests, you know, their priesthood at the Vatican here in Italy. And they have their financial base in um in um in the UK, United Kingdom, and they have their political power in the United States, which is Babylon the Great. You know, this is what they do. They set traps for men, you know, they set a network of sin, you know, a network a trap, you know. So if you take the max sin, you know, just be sure you're going to take the the microchip, and that's it for you, you know, you'll be destroyed. So, let's get another quick scripture, which is always here at the book of Psalm, chapter 62. No, 64, Slakia. 64, verse 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. You know, this is what our prayers should be. We should be praying for, for to the most high to hide us from the secret counsel of the wicked. And how can we get these prayers? You know, when we do, the as I explained earlier, when we do, you know, our best in observing these commandments, you know, Knowing the true names of the Father and the Son, Yahweh Shai, you know, these are the ways the Most High can hide us from, you know, the secret councils. So you better be ready because the times we're about to get in are really, you know, difficult times, you know, even the time of Jacob's trouble. Prepare your spirits, prepare your mind, 
And the only thing that's going to save us through this time is, you know, this word, it's truth. It's like the book of Isaiah says, you know, um, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, you know. So those who don't really know the truth, you know, they'll get to a point where they'll just have to give up, you know, and just be like, well, I can't kill myself, I can't come and die, I can't do this. And, you know, you just give up, they go over and they take the vaccine, you know. So those who actually know the truth, they're going to hold on to the last, you know. And those are the people the most that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah is looking for, you know. So we have to endure to the end and be strong as soldiers. So I hope this lesson was edifying. And I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kwadash. And I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. And peace and salutations to the four legs spread around the four corners of the earth. Until the next one, Shalom.